performer's performer, the queen of musical variety. Behind the glitz of Mitzi Gaynor is a homebody with a rock-solid marriage whose heartfelt toast is to love. Next. The skies are smiling at me. Who says blue skies don't last forever in Hollywood? For over 30 years, one beloved star has enjoyed a hit career and a home life playing the hardest game in town. When she grabbed Glory in a musical classic playing Nellie Forbush, Mitzi Gaynor was going through the toughest time of her life. Then, better than any movie scene, the man who would become her husband, manager and number one fan breezed into her life. They say behind every great man is a woman. It works the other way around, too. Go get him. Okay. If it wasn't for Jack, I wouldn't be talking to you right now. I would not be alive today. When I met him, I was in a real slump. I was on uh, layoff from the studio. I was under contract to Fox. Um, I'd had a, a disastrous love affair. and um, But I was smart enough to get out of it. Thank you, God. And uh, I was fat. And uh, I was generally unhappy. I met Jack, and I don't know, he just turned my whole life around. He's been very good to me because he's a very honest man, and he's a good person. And I trust him. And he may be very conservative in certain areas, but so am I. We don't generally argue over things like business, because I really, I think that he has a very good business head. He's taken very good care of me. He loves me, and I love him. Behind one of Hollywood's rock-stable marriages is an unwillingness to follow the crowd. Other Hollywood couples may change homes like their socks. Jack and Mitzi have lived on the same Beverly Hills estate since soon after they married. This is the Bean house. This is Mitzi Gaynor's house. This house where, you know, you drive. Oh, that used to be the Betty Grable house, and that was the so-and-so house. Who's living in it now? We've lived here since 1960, and most people that live in Beverly Hills have moved at least seven or eight times. It means a great deal to me because it's mine. Well, it's ours. It's something that I've had a lot to do with. We feel like when we're tired and when we've been working very hard, and so most people go on vacation, but I live out of town. So I vacation when I come back here. To look at my own grass and my own trees and smell my own flowers and call some people up and just say, I'm making rosemary chicken, do you want to come for dinner? I like my kitchen, I like to cook. I like the, the serenity of being. I'm very quiet, for as noisy as I am. I'm a very quiet person. I'm very <laughs> deep <laughs> and very philosophical and deep. well, it's all my sign, you know, skeptical and analytical and a perfectionist and all those really boring things that Virgos are. Most Virgos don't like to admit it, but it's a very difficult sign. You're right, <laughs> I'm one too. The quiet twosome loves their domesticity, but don't even think of selling this homebody short. When the stars are right, nobody but nobody is more glitzy than Mitzi. I don't mind giving parties. It's hard for me sometimes to go to parties. I'm always a few minutes late, and I hate to be the first one there, so sometimes I make Jack drive around the block a few times. Because I don't like it when somebody's be here at 8 o'clock for a party, and they're here at 8 o'clock, because there's some little thing, you know, one flower is out of kilter, or something's a little bit off, or I have to taste the sauce, or whatever it is. Not surprisingly, her own entrances are always timed perfectly. The 100th anniversary of Long Beach heralded an extravaganza that extended to honoring Mitzi. The stars turned out to congratulate a respected peer who has earned their ultimate compliment. They call her the performer's performer. <laughs> Mitzi has been dressed by the designer some call the Sultan of Sequins. He credits Mitzi with giving him the big break that launched his career. In 1960, I guess it was 66, Mitzi Gaynor uh, said, will you do my clothes for my television specials and will you do my clothes for my nightclub act? It's terrific for a young designer to have a, a star that, that does, you know, that gets a lot of publicity and is wearing their clothes and, and she was the first one. I think he's a genius. Such a sense of humor, such style, such, you know, he got everything, everything that you want. And it also made me look sensational. I said, when I die, the will is, I have all my photographs destroyed, just Bob Mackey sketches. You know? All that glitters is Golden Gainer. She continues the tradition of musical variety like the real trooper she was born to be. I want to get it on, you know, I want, you should pardon the expression, I want to do it. I've said to Jack and I've said to a couple of people, 
You know, if the lights burn out in the theater, I think I could glow in the dark. I'm so eager to get out there and to, and to perform for you. That's not to say that I don't get scared to death sometimes. My life is pretty well worked out. Jack and I have figured it all out pretty good. We're always looking for tomorrow, though, which is, I think, terribly important. Mitzi Gaynor, Blue Sky.